Alan, oh my God, a fellow Aussie, how amazing. And look what you've got. You've got like my favorite Vegemite. And no, no one else in the world eats Vegemite. Did you know that? They all hate it. When I was in Europe, they hate it. In Canada, they hate it. And here they hate it. But I love it. And we're not paid by craft. This is, this is free endorsement. Yeah, it's just a really good Aussie product. Well, right? it works. It brings people to the booth, and that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, yeah. So tell me a bit about your startup. It sounds pretty exciting. Well, we've developed um, a company called Asterix, and what it's based upon is helping advertisers to actually get their message deeper into the community and deeper into the customer. We allow, um, for instance, a, a, a consumer to see a billboard or a printed ad in a, in a newspaper or magazine, and actually simply by entering the phone number essentially into their phone, they can draw the ad out into their phone. Let's say it was a Tiffany watch, they would see it in the back of a magazine, they can enter the phone number in, it'll suck it straight into their phone and their iPad, and then they can choose to look at where the nearest store is and actually buy it and link straight through to the shop. So it actually catapults the, the, the prospect down the sales funnel from you know generating the demand to actually being able to say, wow, I can see it in high detail and I can see where the nearest shop is, I can actually click one button and actually get straight to the store. So it's, it's a very good system. And you were telling me that you actually got how much in funding in Devonport? Uh, locally, it's a bit of a secret, but yeah, we've got over a million dollars funding locally, and we've been very fortunate. There's some very astute businessmen and politicians, accountants, lawyers that understand the full potential of this. You don't have to convince an advertiser to advertise. They're already advertising, but when you give them something that can give them a metric back on their billboard ad and a metric back how many people looked and act upon that ad, it's very valuable to them. And for the consumer, you know, you don't want to walk through a Wi-Fi field and get bombarded with ads you don't want. This allows you to selectively look and say, hey, I like that offer, and get it, whether it's a coupon or a car or whatever, and then you can also share that with your friends. That's good for you, and the advertiser goes, wow, now there's a true power of social networking actually sharing my ad through their own social circle. So it's very valuable for both sides. Well, good on you for getting funding in Devonport. Obviously, Australia must have changed so much since I've been there so many years ago because I didn't even know there were investors in Devonport. There's investors all over Australia. You've just got to have a good exactly. idea. Got to, you've got to have a good idea. And as you know, coming up with the idea is the easy part. It's viably commercialising. It's the hard part. The value for me is I've been in business for 20 years. This isn't my only business. And this was born out of me seeing a need, travelling around the world in my other business, going... The world needs this system so I can instantly get your contact details and essentially turn your business card into a sales tool and a whole lot more. So that's what Asterix does. Well, good work you and I wish you all the best and uh, obviously you're, inter you're launching internationally now and hopefully the world will be your stage. Well, we're off to a great start already. We had a lot of interest here this morning and I think once the world realises what we've got, I think they're all going to come running to us. And as I said, you don't have to convince an advertiser to advertise. All we've got to do is say, we can help you do it a lot better. Fabulous. Good work. Thank you.